Hi guys, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. A different type of video today. I wanted to show you how to use the Joy-Cons as an Xbox controller on your uh, PC. So one of the big issues is getting them both to pair as a single controller. And I found a solution yesterday, which is uh, actually quite easy to use. and uh, works really well. I'm using the uh, Surface Pro 6 and I'm recording this video with the new iPhone 11 Pro, which is a much, does a much, much better job of recording a, a screen and keeping the, uh, I like my hands in the front, not uh, silhouetted out. So here you see the link up here in the, in the uh, the top here, I'll put this link in the description. And right here, all you do is go to this website, click on XJoy. It's going to bring you to GitHub. Uh, what you're going to want to install, all right, so right here, install the VIGEM bus driver, Visual C++. This was already installed on my machine, so you may not need to install it. It gave me a pop-up. And then go to the release page, version 2. If you click on it here, it's going to give you the option download the zip. Uh, this zip file, uh, once you have it opened, I copied it into my documents folder. Now once inside documents here, it's here at the bottom, uh, all you're going to do is you're going to double click right here and then after you've connected the controllers to Bluetooth, which you can do right here, long press, go to settings, other devices x360 controller all right joy-con left and right so you go add bluetooth device bluetooth device uh, on the joy-con you're going to want to hold down this pairing button until this is flashing and then it's going to give you the option over here to add the device here in the list. I should see here, I have left and right Joy-Cons. And this one is flashing. So let's go down here, we're going to load this up. Notice that they are both marked as the uh, first slot on the controllers, which is exactly what you want because you want them working in tandem, not as two separate controllers. This is the big issue with using Joy-Cons on a PC normally. So we're just going to uh, minimize this window, not turn it off. So when you have this paired to the computer, you're actually going to want to turn these off, otherwise they will stay on all night. So just a single click, single click right there will turn that off. Now I would absolutely love to have the Joy-Cons pair to the iPhone X uh, Pro, 
or to the iPhone running iOS 13. That would be amazing. So if anyone knows how to do that, uh, let me know. Uh, I don't think it currently will work, or at least not as a X input or Xbox input, which is what I'm looking at or wanting the most. If you don't have a Joy-Con controller yet, then you can go to the two links I have in the description. I have one for the standard Joy-Cons from Nintendo, which are about uh, $79. And then also for one that I just ordered, uh, when it comes in, I'll make sure the link goes in the description, but I want to test it first. I think it's around $40, and between $30 and $40, and it's a transparent, uh, you can see the circuit boards and everything through it, uh, set of Joy-Cons. So uh, no NFC, so you can't put the little um, Amiibo characters on it. But otherwise, it may be a really good option for a lot of people. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.